Hospital guidelines are constantly changing due to the coronavirus. The final trimester of a pregnancy for some families now looks nothing like they envisioned nine months ago. It's the last place you want to be right now, a hospital. But there are people who can't avoid it, like expecting parents who didn't expect to be asked questions like this. Hey, like, have you traveled anywhere in the past 14 days? Do you have, to, do you have a fever? Do you have any symptoms? Have you symptoms? This is the standard now. Anytime Ryan and Rachel Duncan go to one of their doctor's visits, they're just one family that's been thrown a curveball when it comes to delivering their second child during a pandemic. It hit me like really a few days ago. I'm having this baby in a week, you know. The Guthries are another. Chelsea's due date was moved up from May 10th to a scheduled induction on April 21st. Her doctor broke down what the days leading up to delivery could look like. Where they're going to test you for the virus, they'll send you home while they wait for the results. And then if you have it, we'll assume your husband has it. And so he won't be able to be in the room with you. Studies continue on the effects of COVID-19 on anyone, especially pregnant mothers. To find out more, we reached out to Dr. Jennifer Bump at Texas Children's Hospital to ask what doctors know about COVID-19 and pregnancy right now. There's been a case series of a few cases that have mostly come out of China of pregnant women who also were tested positive for COVID-19 as well. From that data, we feel fairly certain that there's a low risk of the virus transmitting from the mom to the baby inside. That's the good news, but Dr. Bump said pregnant women are more prone to any illness, which is why every precaution is being taken. The theme with the Duncans and Guthries is that this delivery won't be what they envisioned, but pregnancy and parenting never really is. I think for us, it's yeah, don't try to figure out what it's going to look like in 10 days, 20 days, 30 days, because reality is, yeah, like we're, we're due May 23rd and it's like, things could, things will look substantially different than they do today. You're still growing life inside you and um, the best thing that I have done that we have seen is just like keeping my mind on like good positive things like hey what are some things that I can do around the house to nest and to celebrate our baby coming into this house. And speaking of when the baby comes, Dr. Bump has her own advice for parents. Continue to follow social distancing and wait to introduce that brand new baby that has very little immune function at this point until after this crisis is over. If you're pregnant and have concerns about how the virus could affect you or what your hospital's guidelines are right now, reach out to your doctor for more information. Back to you. Are you happy they're saying yes? yes.